crochet braids. They're way shorter this time. I will show you how I did it and how I maintain the fluffiness. So hello guys, it's Mother's Day, yay! Mothers are cool, mothers are cool. So, we have my hair situation going on right now. On the right side of the screen, you have a side that's already been pulled out. I've been yanking at it, doing some detangling. See those see-through ends? I need to chop those off, trim them out. On my left side, has not been touched, has not been detangled. So, all you need right now is some scissors. We do all the detangling with our fingers. So I split it in half in the back, and then pull, 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 pull. Just finger detangle it, pretty much. Um, because the Kinecolon is already curly in nature, as you pull it, it will straighten out. So try to keep your hands out of it for the most part. But here, I want to condense my fro, so I'm pulling at it just a little bit. See them see-through ends? Got to get rid of them. So now, I don't want to cut all the way up into the thick part because it's kind of short compared to the left side. So what I'll do is cut it about, I don't know, halfway. So snip, 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 and uh, snip, 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 snip. And that little piece on top there too? Gone. Bow. Two chains. Fluff that back in, puff it out, and good. We have a little less hair, not that much effort, and some clean ends. Now, on to the left side. Alright, we pull, 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 pull. Pretty much finger combing each section. And as we've done that, as you can see, once again, we got some ends that need to come out. All of them ting. Alright, so, not that much on this side though, but enough. So over here we can trim all the way up to the thickness because as you can see one side is longer than the other. So to maintain symmetry we're gonna, you know, maintain that look. So we're gonna cut and cut, cut, cut. By the way, if you do this, do it with some scissors that are sharp. <laughs> scissors that I'm using right now are not sharp at all. Hence me taking so long to cut the little piece of hair off. Looking great. I basically did this for the duration of my crochet braid hairstyle when I kept on brushing it out and shortening it. This is how it got to this length. Just pull, pull, pull and clip the ends. And I'm pretty much done. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so here's the back of it. Back of my hair. And we shake it. Looking all nice. And then I do some really weird tornado thing that you guys are used to, but like I said, you guys are used to it. Jamming out. I don't know what song is playing now, but I'm pretty sure it's a good one. Anyway, my braid pattern. I always forget to show you this. I went in really thick this time because I figured using the Afro textured hair, using the Nina Kinky Marley hair, I didn't have to go in so thin because I didn't want a super duper thick Afro. So I went in pretty big. It's about five, six braids, seven braids up there. Here is what I did. I basically zigzagged the hair starting from my nape going all the way up and I collected the braids on the sides and included them. I know that makes no sense, so here are some pictures, all right? <laughs> a client that I had recently that I did some crochet braids on, this is the pattern that I use. Once again, I zigzag the back and join all the cane rolls on the side into the zigzag and then sew down the one remaining braid on top. And then there is that. That's what I did. That's my hair. Bye, guys. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah. See you later. Bye. I don't know what that ha 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 thing is, but it happened.